Okay, this one is just a little video I wanted to put on about what the fan speed has to do with the temperature difference across the core, the indoor coil, or delta T. And so I'm going to show you, this is a three-speed fan motor. We've got 20.7 or 20.8, whichever you want to take, uh, degrees across the coil. Now that's in low speed. Okay, let's look at these uh, uh, temperatures and pressure here. Okay, we're at 81 outdoor temperature, 69 suction, 9.5 superheat, 211.9 to 12 and 14.5 subcool. Indoor temperature, the ordinary temperature is about 76. We're going to raise the fan speed to medium and let's see what changes happen in the pressures and temperature differences across the coil. Okay, here we are at medium speed. Our suction pressure has gone up to 70.9, 13 superheat, 207.8, which is a little odd, and 13.7 on our subcool. Okay, just wanted to note, okay, we're at 17.2, so we've dropped, what, 3 degrees Fahrenheit when we increase that fan speed. Let's go ahead and increase the fan speed to the highest. Here again, looking at the inside with the fan on high speed, we've gone down to 16 point, well, 16 point, we'll say 16.5 degrees Fahrenheit temperature difference. Let's look at the outside unit. Again, looking at the outside, we're at about 78. And 71.6, 209, 13.8, subcool. Whoop, going down, going down. Okay, we'll call it 13, subcool. Maybe we won't, we'll call it less. So the conclusion is if I increase airflow, the temperature difference across the coil goes down. No big surprises there. Uh, in dry areas, we usually like to keep that at high speed. Now that isn't always true if we're going into wetter areas we do have an issue with humidity and I'm going to do another video or two on this exploring how you dehumidify in humid areas.